Hi everyone, Tori here with today's Scrap Your Scraps video. Today I wanted to um, give you um, some ideas for how to mix scraps with new product. So I have my Felicity Jane Susie kit and that's what I'm going to be using primarily today as well as my scraps. And I have this one photo that was taken last year at a like exhibit that I did for work. Um, kind of conference thing. So what I decided to do was mix some of my scraps and my Felicity Jane Susie kit together to make this Scrap Your Scraps video. So I'm doing um, a bunch of circles here. So basically I grabbed this paper from my Felicity Jane kit, which will be the background, and then I'm just grabbing a whole bunch of scraps um, and cutting out and punching out circles. And some of these come from the Felicity Jane kit, some of them don't. Now, I also am using some 12 by 12 sheets here just because I was like, I really want to include this pattern and I didn't have a scrap with that design on it. So that's why I'm doing that. But really, you can either do this with a kit, you can do this with a paper pad, or you can use your scraps. And I'm sort of mixing a little bit of both. Some from the Susie kit, some scrap papers, etc. And what I did was I'm just punching out or cutting out a bunch of circles. So I love circles. I don't know what it is. I just love them. So I have a bunch of circle punches. <laughs> like I have one inch, fit, um, five eighths of an inch, quarter inch. I have <laughs> two inches. And then I also have this Martha Stewart like rotary one where you put like a craft knife in it and you go around. That's the one that you see laying on the table there. And so what I'm doing is I'm just punching out a bunch of circles of different designs and I basically just went with like black and white pinks and a little pop of green because there was this one scrap piece of paper that I had left over from the Felicity Jane kit and it was already punched out and it was already like it was it was about two inches but it was wasn't big enough to actually use anything because it had already had punches out of it so I decided to use that as like the design element that's the one with the floral and then go from there and that had a little bit of green in it and even though green's not my favorite I decided to just pull in some green with that green polka dot. So I would say pick one paper that has multiple colors on it and then choose your colors from that paper. Okay so I punched out a bunch of them um, of all different sizes and now I'm just inking the edges and I'm using this ink pad it's color or it's called gray slate and it's from the color theory collection at Studio Calico and I'm just inking all the edges and this is a really great tip when using multiple different papers and scraps. If you ink the edges it will really help um, tie them like all together so it looks like they go together. So it just added a little bit of gray ink around the edges of those and I like the way it works. And now I'm just going to sort of figure out where I want them to go. Um, laying them out. I sort of decided I wanted to have a design that went from the top left hand corner to the bottom right hand corner and to sort of taper off. So the bigger circles would be near the top and then it would be lighter at the bottom. So I am just laying them out like that and then I'm going to glue them down. Now I also had this like felt layered heart embellishment that I got in or I got from freckled fawn and I love it it's so cute and it's pink and it had a little bit of yellow and some and a mint button on it and I thought it would be cute and I also thought I wanted to go with that circle kind of motif so I just added it there too and I'm using my hot glue gun to adhere everything down because that's my adhesive of choice I love my hot glue gun and if you're new to my channel this is what you need to know about me I love doilies and pink and buttons and sparkles and my hot glue gun. That is who I am. <laughs> I use my hot glue gun on everything. I love it to pieces and it it is archivally safe. I try not to use it like right on the photo but on everything else my hot glue gun is the way to go. <laughs> so I adhere. So basically the way that I did that was I put the photo where I wanted it and then I adhered the circles around it and then I added the adhesive under the photo because I didn't want to like figure out where to put the circles again. I thought that that might work better. I realized that I needed a couple more circles so I grabbed, punched out a couple more and stuck those on there and then I'm just gonna embellish and I'm pulling out some of my favorite embellishments, buttons. So I just grabbed these pink ones and I just sort of stuck them around and again I'm going with that circle tone. 
So one of the really fun things that you can do with your scraps is to punch out a certain shape and then just use that as your like motif for the layout. So I've got all these circle scraps and elements from the Felicity Jane kit. Then I have that circle embellishment from Freckled Lawn and then I have all these circle buttons. And it just sort of ties it all together and it doesn't make it look too busy. So I stuck those buttons down. I also grabbed some green ones to bring it a little more green. And honestly, I don't even hate this green, which is crazy for me because I am not a green person. But I'm actually sort of happy with the way it worked out. Okay, and some final embellishments. Honestly, guys, this one was a simple one. I added this today acrylic word from the Felicity Jane Susie kit for my title. And then I used these little plus sign acrylic shapes. Just stuck a couple of those on there. And they're made out of the same material as that today, so I felt like it would work well. And then I had a couple of flares, so I wanted to see if I could use those. And I grabbed this one out with the floral design and I moved it all over the place and then finally just picked the place to put it down and glued it down again. And again, back to those circle embellishments. So I would say if you're going to go with circles today, pull out a whole bunch of circle embellishments and see if you can add them on with your scraps. If you go with squares, do the squares, rectangles, diamonds, whatever. I like to stick with one um, shape and I think it works really well. And now I'm just going to grab out a couple of these cut apart label stickers that came on the cut apart sheet in the Suzy kit. I pulled the sticker back off, put a staple through them, and then I'm just going to put the date and also the location on those labels. So, um, and I'm just using my roller date stamp and some black memento tuxedo ink. And I just realized I'm almost out of time and I haven't even told you about the photo. So, okay, I'll do this super quick. So I work for a company called Plan Protect. We do abuse prevention. Um, we're a consulting firm. We write policies and do training and stuff. And the Catholic Women's League in York region approached us because they wanted to put forth a new law on screening and it's long story short, we went to this conference to do a presentation about why there should be a law in Canada that everyone should get screened um, who works with children or youth because there currently isn't a law. Anyways, uh, that's what we were doing. So I think that was like the quickest description ever. Sorry, guys. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'd be happy to give you some more information. <laughs> um, after that, I'm just going to add my journaling and I was trying to decide where to do the journaling and I didn't really want to put it like on the page next to the photo because I really liked the design style it was going. So I decided to do the journaling around the edges. So I'm just adding like a squiggly line or a straight line and then doing a little journaling, adding another line, etc. all the way around the page. And I didn't have a ton of journaling, but I wanted to definitely put it on there. So you'll see me do some writing and then do a line and then some squiggles and and I actually like how it looks. It doesn't take anything away from the design aesthetic of the page. Um, and I still get my journaling on there. And it gives like a frame to the page so I didn't have to map the page on like another paper or something. So I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> I'm almost done here so I'm going to slow it down and hold up the page so you guys can check it out. I know this was a super quick one but I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. And pull out your punches or cut out some shapes and mix your old product with your new product and it'll look great. Love you guys. Bye.